right, everyone, welcome back. This is the new job site for a while until they send me back to the other one, at least a couple of weeks, probably, I'm assuming. So, um, did a whole bunch of stuff downstairs at the beginning of the day, which I will show you. Right now, I'm up here on the fourth floor, so I just want to explain this real quick before I go back downstairs. Work is over, I just have to screw one more panel cover back on, so. Got the drill right here, and then, uh, but I wanted to explain to you guys what I was doing here for the second half of the day or the rest of the day. Um, so most of these rooms are already complete, so we're kind of behind schedule um, on this job right here. Um, but basically we don't have the plugs and switches, so, and there's no power in the building yet. So just went through and stripped out the wires for the switches and the plugs right here, just going through and curling all the wires right there. Um, Whoever did these did them different than me and Nick. So um, we're just curling, we're curling the grounds down. And then we are, for the switches, they're gonna be pressure plates. So we're just leaving these straight. But for the, uh, for the plugs, we are, um, the way that we're stripping them is we're curling the grounds down because that's the way that the screw turns. Just also stripping the neutrals down because that's how the screw turns. So we're stripping these three down. And then for the hots, they turn to the right. I mean, they all turn to the right, but um, on the other side of the plug. So they, on the other side of the plug, the screw turns to the right. So these need to be stripped upwards and these need to be stripped downwards because these are turning to the right here. And on the other side, they're turning to the right. So when you tighten the screw down, it doesn't back it out if you have it screwed in this way when you tighten the screw down it's going to back the wire out of the screw if that makes sense if not you will learn that one day but i'll try to show you if we get some um, plugs in or whatnot or switches i'll show you what i mean hopefully if i don't forget but anyway so we're just going through stuff like that hitting the heaters stripping those out stripping the thermostats um, going through the laundry room um, it's kind of dark in here but Got the dryer right there for the ten wire, plugs, all that good stuff. Kitchens as well, so um, that is that. I'll go show you what I'm doing downstairs after I hit this uh, panel cover real quick. Um, then you got your range right there with the eight wire. So this is kind of a similar flooring that I'll have in my house, the laminate, fake wood stuff. So anyways, I'm gonna go screw that cover and then show you what I've been working on downstairs for basically 75% of the day. All right, so I just got this panel cover back on. It's a nightmare. There's four screws for the, there's eight screws for the dead front and like four to six screws for the um, panel cover. There's only four, so that's what there is. Uh, that might be missing some, but anyways, got that screwed back on. Um, and this is a giant nightmare. Um, so basically there's like six 90s on this. Um, whoever did this is I don't know, I'm not gonna say what they are, but you could probably get an idea. They're not very smart. Um, so there's like six 90s on this probably. It's gonna be a nightmare. For some reason, there's already a string in there. Um, so that's good. So anyways, I will go show you what I did the rest of the day. All right guys, so if you're wondering what the job site looks like, this is what it looks like. Uh, it's four stories. Um, there's three different buildings. This is building C. I'm getting confused now. This is building B. This is building C, and then this building right here is building A. So this one is super long, and this these two are split into, these are split into two with a gap in between. Um, so that's kind of what we're working with here, a whole bunch of stairs, people screaming. It's usually how it is, so. Anyways, um, uh, probably gonna be stripping out wires unless they give us something else to do here tomorrow. Got all the rooms in here, so basically apartments, or I don't know what kind of building this is. If it's probably just apartments, probably not assisted living because there's all these stairs and whatnot. But there is elevator, so you never know. But uh, that's what we're working on here, so a bunch of apartment things. I'm gonna head downstairs real quick and show you the rest. All right, guys, so here's what I was working on in the beginning of the day for three quarters of the day at least. Um, just pulling in strings, all the green and orange strings were already there, but we pulled in the, uh, whatever you want to call this, the mule line or mule table line. Uh, there's an, all these kind of words for it. Uh, that's what we pulled in. Um, so basically these are parallel runs. So 
there's three sets of wires going to each um, pin location or disconnect or whatever, um, wherever they're going, whatever they're doing. Um, so there's three sets of pipes for each parallel run to each location. So this is the um, building A, east, east side, second floor. Um, as you can see, but these are all labeled. Um, some of these go like A goes sends to B, so it's kind of confusing in that part, but um, building A, west floor, fourth floor, building A, east, fourth floor, and then the one in the back I can barely read, A, W, 2, and then this is uh, C right here, C, 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, so we've just pulled in one per parallel run. So as you can see, we got one there for those three, one right there for those three. That one already has wire, but it has to get replaced or partially pulled out because the pipe is broken. So then we got um, that one's for that three. And then this one right here for these three. And this one for these four or something like that. And then we pulled in one here to the riser room for the, uh, I think for the ground wire or something like that. Anyways, got those pulled in. Um, so maybe I'll show you here in a second. Um, what's going on in the ceiling, but yeah. All right guys, so this is kind of what we're dealing with. Um, that's the pipe that was broken right there. So the wire has to get pulled back out, the wire has to get pulled out, and then the pipe has to get repiped or something or fixed. Um, unless they can, yeah, they'll probably have to replace this 90 right here. So they'll probably have to cut that and all that stuff. So anyways, um, so this is kind of what we're dealing with, kind of some PVC in the ceiling, which is not the best idea. Probably should have, um, done um, EMT right here. Anyways, um, what I was trying to say is there's a whole bunch of junction boxes, so to pull the strings, you kind of have to start here, and then um, there's already a string in there, so I kind of had to go upstairs, tie that, tie this on, go upstairs, pull that in. So um, I thought it was going to be a big nightmare in the beginning of the day, but it ended up figured it out after a while, so it wasn't too bad. Thought it was gonna take a couple days, but it took about three quarters of the day. So, anyways, um, one of these should have a string in it right there. So there's one of our strings for these three sets right here. Uh, one set, I mean. But anyways, so there's a whole bunch of junction boxes everywhere, kind of going a whole bunch of LBs going through the floor. So it's hard to explain, but there's just a whole bunch of stuff going on, and we had to figure out where all the strings were going because. Um, people here haven't been here before so basically been here like this is my first day here and then uh, the co person that's leading this job out's only been here for four days so I'm um, kind of just learning that it together but we figured it out and uh, anyway so yeah we're gonna be heading home and uh, thanks guys for watching I appreciate it all right guys hope you enjoyed the new job site if you enjoyed the video also make sure to hit that like button and subscribe I'd appreciate it help the channel out and uh, hope to see you guys back here tomorrow if not soon and uh, check the description for anything else. Hit the notification bell. If you want to be notified when I upload or do live streams, thanks to the few people that tuned into the live stream the other night. Um, hanging out, that was fun. So anyways, I think that should do it, guys. And I'll see you in the next one tomorrow. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out. All right, guys. One last thing. Make sure to check out my Facebook page. I'm going to start trying to post some... Um, behind the scenes or extra videos that i won't be posting on youtube so make sure to check that out at the corvette kid and uh so far i got about 36 likes i think so a bunch of my friends support me a bunch of you guys support me so i th appreciate that and uh, make sure to check that out if that's something you're interested in um and that should do it thanks guys so much god bless